In this video, you're going to learn why people are considering Italy as a home away from home in 2023. I'm going to introduce you to Eric and Lizanne and show you why they chose to go from this to this. This video is a part of a new series where we share the lifestyle choices of people from all over the world and why they've chosen to start a new chapter of life with, in this case, Italy as its focus. In recent years, there's been a surge of interest in building a new life in Italy. While covering the topic of Italian real estate here on YouTube, I've been able to help many people in this endeavor directly and others I've been able to meet along their own path. And right now, I'd like to introduce you to one such couple who are currently engaged in their own big Italian adventure, Eric and Lizanne. Hi folks, my name is Eric. If you had to guess where they are just by this one phrase in the landscape, where would you say they're from? I live up in Lanark, Ontario, Canada. If you guessed Canada, you're 100% correct. Winner! Eric and Lizanne claim Ontario, Canada as their home and have had quite a few adventures together over the years. We're going to be sharing their story from here on out, but we'll hit the past a bit as well. I was approached by Davo, uh, who I've been watching for quite some time. Literally, this is where we sat to watch Davo videos to get an idea of what Italy was all about. And been involved in the, uh, the new forum board that he put together on our venture into Italy. He asked if we'd do some video uh, to give everybody watching an idea of uh, what brought us to the decision and then bring you along on the journey of, uh, well, buying a house in Italy and renovating it and all of the exciting things that come along with it. If you've brought a property in Italy and you'd like to share your story, but Running a YouTube channel seems daunting. Please reach out to me because we've got a great collaboration that not only benefits you, but benefits a lot of the people that are watching this channel because they're currently going through the same experiences that you've gone through. Please reach out to me. You can find it in the description below. Um, we wanted to be close to the water or on the water because I eventually want to have a sailboat somewhere down south where I can sail there as well. So I'm a, a U.S. Coast Guard captain and a uh, Royal Yachting Association Yacht Master. They call it an offshore, I think. My designation is an offshore Yacht Master. And I've done lots of boat deliveries, mostly Great Lakes, down the Hudson River, into the Atlantic, through the Caribbean. I did a big one, I took a 64-foot Choi Lee, basically started in the Chesapeake Bay, went all the way around through the Caribbean, through the Panama Canal, and then up to San Diego. That was 52 days at sea. Hi, Lizanne. Hey. What are you working on? Well. Okay, giant <laughs> computer monitors. <laughs> so right now I'm working on a couple of things. I'm uh, originally uh, from the government of Canada. Um, and an institution specifically under the umbrella of the Government of Canada called the National Research Council. Um, so we support research for anything from artificial intelligence and quantum computing all the way through to um, self-driving vehicles. Why were you attracted to Italy? Well, I think the biggest one is because you love it so much. And uh, so happy husband, <laughs> happy wife, for sure. History, there's so much history. There's so much history everywhere you go. It's gee, you know, I wonder if somebody from Roman times walked through here. And uh, so your mind is going 100 miles a minute, um, reconciling stories that you hear with, with the actual places that you're visiting. So it's really a, a great melange of different things. I know you're super inspired by the food and the ingredients and the rudimentary sort of flavors that come from Italy. I'm attracted to all of those things and get inspired by anything that you love to cook. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Did I forget to mention he's a cook? The more I get to know Eric, the more I feel like he's the most interesting man in the world. Don't you think he looks like him too? It's never too early to start beefing up your obituary. I'm a sailor and a chef. I guess I should say chef and then a sailor. Uh, started uh, my apprenticeship with CN Hotels, beginning at the CN Tower, which is the big giant needle-like structure in Toronto. What goes better with sailing and cooking than fishing? Going so fast, we have to wait until the surface. <laughs> Woo! 
my little sushi buffet. If by chance you're also a fisherman, I suggest you catch season two of Hooked on Canada where you'll see Eric and many others exploring the great Canadian outdoors. Big shout out to Joel for providing this footage of their amazing deep lake experience. And I did uh, a couple of years with them and then I started up a catering business in Toronto. And from there, um, rode that economic wave from sort of 1985 to 1990. Sold the catering business, bought a sailboat, and then we went sailing in the Caribbean for three years, started having kids and decided to uh, head on back to Canada. Upon returning to Canada, Eric was bit by a bug, the construction bug. While raising his family, he continued to challenge himself by building multiple structures, including the, his own log home. By the way, this is the uh, log house. We did an open concept. That's the kitchen. What log house would be complete without a deer head on the wall? I actually shot that deer with a crossbow. I'm a hunter and fisherman as well as uh, a chef. I like, uh, I like catching my own food. This is our family wall. This is my little man cave. Both of my grandfathers were US military and uh, this one was a, uh, he was a, um, a mechanic, an airline mechanic. My other grandfather was actually in the Battle of Casino in Italy and he had his arm shot off in uh, Monte Cassino. So there's another little connection that our family has to Italy. Oh, well, this is my sauna that I built. I'd love to show you this. They say you can take the man out of the adventure, but you can't take the adventure out of the man. Eric is always searching for his next big adventure. Make sure to stay to the end to discover which corner of the world Eric and Lizanne's next adventure will take place in. And it's open to the sauna, so the whole thing actually heats up, which is kind of cool because you can take a nice hot shower, well, you can take a cold shower with hot shampoo when you get out of the sauna. It's pretty cool. They're all clippings that we found in a cottage that we renovated, it was, they were in the walls, oh, along with, check this out, along with this original Buy Victory Bonds poster. That was in the wall of the house too. We, uh, we were out last night and celebrating a small milestone um, at Eric's restaurant that, uh, how many years now? 26 years. 26 years. Fiddlehead's <laughs> Bar and Grill in Perth, Ontario. Mm -hmm. If you're ever there, the first drink's on you. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you come. We'd be happy yeah, we'd to be meet love you. to meet you there. It's in a, a beautiful little uh, old stone heritage town. It really is and uh, built by Scottish stone ma masons in the 1800s. Every time we traveled anywhere, we would always think, oh, maybe this is where we could buy a place and fix it up. And, you know, we'd go to Mexico. We went to all over the central Mexico and found some incredible spots. And then we went to El Salvador and checked it out mostly because I wanted to see what the Bitcoin economy was like in El Salvador. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice view up here. Then we started to think about uh, the Med. And a friend of ours bought a place in Majorca and loves it in Majorca. We thought about Majorca, but uh, we've always been partial to, I don't know, I like Italian food, I like the Italian culture. When the one euro home started to pop up on my radar, as they probably have on a lot of your radar, it was something that we were like, okay, let's check this out. But we real realized pretty quickly that first of all, the one euro homes were going to take a huge amount of work. And second of all, that uh, we didn't really have the time or the money to uh, really entertain it. Anyone interested in starting any new adventure would do well to plan out their steps in advance. Realizing they couldn't afford real estate that matched their desired lifestyle, at least not yet, Eric and Lizan chose to double down on their current endeavor, which was a direct result of Eric's joy in building log homes. We live on the water in a little 
hamlet called Sheridan's Rapids. I don't know, I think you can see the water there behind me. It's in rapids. And there is the treehouse. We've been doing the Airbnb thing since Airbnb started. Even before Airbnb, we rented them out, you know, the, the places that we had. We currently have five Airbnbs, right? Mm -hmm. And there's one on an island, right? Beside the cottage. Yep. And then there's the cottage. Yep. Treehouse. Treehouse, right? Yeah. And, then and, and then the two at uh, Westport that are kind of uh, across the gorge from each other, those are glamping sites. Oh, yeah. And they're set on a really dramatic ravine. Right. So this is the cottage property that we bought and renovated. The one that has the island on it. And the island has the glamping site. You can see the river from the property. It's a blustery winter day in March here. But I built this with sort of the idea of doing sort of Huga style. Well, these are all the guest books that we've had through the years. And uh, we started this in, well, what was that, 2012. All the memories that they've made through the years, just fantastic. If you had the whole world to choose from, where would you choose to go? Write it in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed getting to know Eric and Lizanne. After all their adventures, Eric and Lizanne knew Italy was the right place for their next adventure together and considering their desire to be near the Mediterranean with a somewhat limited budget, they narrowed their search down to Calabria, Sardinia or Sicily. So fast forward a couple of years and we sock away a little bit of money and basically we said, let's revisit this whole uh, Italian dream. We started watching Davo's YouTube videos. It looked like we were only going to be able to afford something sort of out of a main town that was, you know, in any kind of decent shape. Or, and certainly not in mainland Italy, uh, we, I wanted to be closer to the Med anyways. I, I wanted to be within driving distance to the Med uh, so that I can eventually you know, work as a charter captain and I don't have to go too far to, to get down there. When we were first starting to look at the places in Italy, we were thinking we could do Airbnbs there, but then you kind of came up with another idea. So it's more around family. Right. And yes. family hosting. We do have a big family. We have a big family and we know others have big family gatherings. So uh, we're thinking that that really is the way that we're going to start um, moving into the next phase of our life is uh, supporting and promoting and, and really uh, making family moments absolutely unforgettable. <laughs> the decision to do the Airbnb, we waffled back and forth. Yeah quite a bit because Airbnb is, is labor intensive. It, it, it is, it sounds easy enough, but it does require a commitment. Well, it also, re yeah, not only a commitment, but it requires almost hands-on. Oh, and, it's, and, a, and a level of excellence if you're gonna be successful. Yeah. So, so you need to have the right support mechanisms in place to ensure your success. So, so, you know, we've been fortunate to have that. Well, it's here. taken us a while to get there. We're recognizing that a lot of it now has to do with the experience that you have. And it's not just the place you're staying, but it's what it has at the place that can aid in your experiential. Well, you remember the feeling that it brought. Right, right, right. It's like you never remember how much it costs, but you always remember the feeling the it feeling. gave you. Yeah. If you thought Eric was the protagonist of this story, I should mention that Lizanne is the one whose skills gave them clarity in regards to where they should look for this new experience. You see, she is a sommelier and has a particular knowledge of wines. Interestingly enough, this specialty would be what inspires them to book their tickets for the first scouting trip. Wine is another one that, uh, you know, if you look at uh, Sicily's 
history, um, I don't think that it's like one of the most historical places to grow wine, but there is a new kind of philosophy and theme coming out, and that's the um, the uh, the wines that are uh, born of the environment where the ashes from the volcanoes are, and that they add a really incredible layer um, of earthiness to the wines. So I'm really looking forward to actually going to the vineyards. I know we drove through them the last time we were there, but um, I'm anxious to just try them and start pairing them with some of the food that you're gonna cook. We decided to try the digital nomad experience. Luckily, my wife can work from anywhere in the world. So what uh, <laughs> allowed you to go to Italy for six weeks to it's, look for properties? Yeah, so the government of Canada has a very strict policy that you have to be on on premises for two days a week but because i've been on this this sabbatical um the company that i work for allows me to work from anywhere in the world so we thought we'd take advantage of that and try it out and uh and it worked it was wonderful um i have no complaints and they actually had better better internet <laughs> yeah, than we do <laughs> out here in the country yeah. No drop calls over there. <laughs> so 5G is pretty fast. With Sicily as their focus and a six week trip available to them now, it was time to experience this raw, rugged land in person, starting with a beautiful cliffside B&B near Palermo. So here we are in beautiful Scopello, going towards uh, Capo di San Vincente. And we're staying in a beautiful Airbnb. This is the beginning of our journey to look for land in Italy that suits what we want to do for the rest of our lives. This is such a gorgeous spot, but we can't afford property in this place. This town like is extremely beautiful, but extremely expensive. If you made it this far into the story, you're amazing. This is just part one. Don't forget to subscribe and come back next week to experience their trip in Sicily and discover what they purchased as their Sicilian family-centered getaway. Never actually thought I'd be doing video with them. <laughs> but uh, so, so glad he reached out. And so glad I get a chance to uh, share our story with, uh, with other people. And hopefully, you know, we'll meet up with all sorts of people along the way that can share their experiences. There's already a few incredible things have happened to us that makes us realize that yeah, Sicily was the right choice for us.